pickly time it is, guy, which is a Haitian coleslaw, which I love, love, love. Okay, so here, uh, as you can see, I am cutting a cabbage and I am removing the center from it and I'm only going to use half of it, half of that cabbage. All right, and I'm going to start by slicing it very thinly, as you could see. Some people like it thicker. I like mine to be thin. All right. There is no right and wrong here. You choose which one you want to do. Okay. And while we are doing this, if you've been watching my channel and you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Also, that like button that is going to let me know that you are really enjoying this recipe so I could bring you more and more and more. All right, and do not forget to hit that bell icon that is going to let you know by notification every time that I upload a new video. And as you already know, I make a lot of international recipe in this channel and they are all super delicious. All right, so do not miss out and hit that bell icon. Here, as you can see, I am peeling a carrot. And I did, I think, two large carrots. So it all depends, guys, if you like more carrots or less carrot and the amount of, of cabbage that you cut up. So here, as you can see, I am shredding my carrot. And this process, guys, don't get too happy. <laughs> and be careful, okay? Do this process slowly so you don't get cut or injured, all right? As you can see, I strutted that carrot and I strutted the second one. All right. And now I'm adding this to the half a cabbage that I cut. And now I am going to blend these two together just so I could see the ratio of the carrot to the cabbage. And it's all preference. If you like more carrot, you go ahead and add more carrots to yours. To me, I felt this was sufficient. So the next veggie that we are cutting is this onion. And I'm starting by slicing it very thinly. Some people, they like to add their um, onion to their pickle just like this. I don't like it like that. Okay, but again, it's all preference. I like to cut mine thinly and then, as you can see, dice it very thinly okay <laughs> but if you if you're a person that like onion i'm pretty sure you in heaven by adding it in the slices okay so just add the slices to yours there is no right and wrong but as you can see i'm extra i have to cut mine very thinly very thinly <laughs> so now i'm adding it to my carrots and my cabbage giving it some love giving it some love <laughs> and here guys i have i have removed the seeds from two habanero peppers now i'm cutting them in little slices i like my pickly to be mild but if you like your your pickly to be more spicy by all means add more habanero peppers you could even leave the seeds in them of course, you know, that's going to make it really hot, but it's all preference again. All right. And at this point, a lot of people like to add it just like this in pieces this big. And if that's you, go ahead and add it to yours just like this. Me, I have to be extra, <laughs> as you can see. So I am chopping it very thinly. Plus, I find when I do this, it blends even better with the mixture. Like, it all blends in so good. So good. All right. So, here I'm adding my habanero. And here I have about three to four steams of fresh thyme. And I'm removing the little leaves from the stem. So just give it some love, guys. Give it some love. Take the time to do this little step. 
Give it some love. You're going to receive it right back. I promise you. Okay. So here I grab a pinch of dried oregano. And I crushed it in. And to mine, I like to add a little bit of garlic powder. And here I'm using the maggot chicken bouillon, the one with the blue circle. They got different type, but the Haitian people, they like to use this one. The one with the blue circle is kind of hard and you have to crumble it. But as you can see, it's still really, 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 really good. <laughs> it fills in that, uh, that freshness, okay? I was having a little hard time opening this one. Maybe because I had gloves on. I don't know. But it took me a minute to open that one. So here I am crumbling it. So I decided to go ahead and crumble the whole thing in the palm of my hand to make sure there was no big pieces. And then I added it to it. I only use one cube. I only had I only use a half of a small cabbage. So again, guys, if you are making more and you feel you need two cubes, then you add two cubes. I only added it one cube so here i added three three quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar and now i am adding one cup of the white vinegar but if you only have one type of vinegar guy is fine just go ahead and use the vinegar that you want of your preference it'll be just fine okay so here i am mixing it really good with my hand to make sure that every seasoning is blending and it's all coated and it's really good and what i like to do when i make this coleslaw i like to uh, mix it really good as you can see and then i like to cover it up with saran wrap and let it sit overnight guys let it sit overnight so all those flavors do a wonderful dance together and I promise you, it is delicious, okay? So as you can see here, I am prepping it. Like I said, make sure that you cover it really good. Make sure that saran wrap is still really good. And also, guys, since you are dealing with um, vinegar, I would advise to use like glass containers when you are doing this. Not plastic or even um, silver. I prefer to do it in a glass, all right? So I let it sit overnight, and as you could see, it changed colors. And I um, mean, look look at the vinaigrette. Huh? And when I tell you those seasonings have blended, oh, Lord, this stuff is delicious with barbecue, fried meats, whatever. I'm telling you, I love it, I love it, I love it. So I hope you give this recipe a try and I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next recipe. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.